previously on Ward University. As some of you might already know, it's tradition at Ward University for first-year students to star in a mid-year show right before Christmas. Auditions for the show will start at the end of September. Many actors and singers will probably come barging through that very door in the next few weeks looking for supplementary dance lessons. What is Ryan Flint even doing here? He's a second year. But Miss Ward said I could audition since she's such a good friend of my father's. See, I told you she wants to do him. Don't worry, girls. I have a plan to put her back in her place. Welcome to our bed. Wait, what is your name again? I'm Ezra. You know Jasper? What? He was my best friend here. For a while. But then he met Gideon. I know where Jasper lives now. I can take you there so he can tell you himself. Um, did you want to see me, Professor? Fatima, meet Roger. She's a film major, and she's looking for the best writer in your year to work on a script with her. What do you think? Are you up to the challenge? I can't believe I have to go over this again. Rule number one, never, ever mention any of those ridiculous superhero movies in my presence. Get that smile off your face, young man. This is no joke. If I hear anyone say the name Llama Man in my classroom, I will have to take care of their defenestration myself. But sir, there aren't any windows in this classroom? Are you trying to test me? You seriously think I won't drag your body to the highest floor of this building and send you flying? You should hear from my older students. They'll tell you all right. And who's that veiled lady over there? You're not in my class. I can't believe the level of disrespect. Uh, sir, sir, she's with me actually. We were supposed to meet for lunch. Then why isn't she waiting outside? Well, the class was supposed to end, like, half an hour ago. <laughs> Are you trying to put a timer on me? Do you even know who I am? I'll have you know I'm... Wait! Wait! Where is everybody going? A lesson will go on without you if you leave. And everything I say from now on will... Definitely be on the test. So, he seemed nice. He's a genius. Sure, he's a little one flew over the cuckoo's nest, but great film directors always are. You should see some of his work from when he was younger. Absolutely mind-blowing. So, this movie we're about to write together, what's it going to be about? Oh, it's going to be about everything. That's a lot to cover. It's going to be about love and loss and change and power dynamics and the human condition too and being yourself. That's the most important part, but probably not as important as the concept of self-discovery. So you have no idea what it's going to be about, do you? Not a clue. You see, that's my biggest problem. I have so many ideas and they tend to get a little confused and melt together inside my head. So I can never pick just one. That's why I need you. I asked Professor Rutledge if he could recommend an experienced writer to make some sense of the mess I got in this cuckoo little brain of mine. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm experienced. But you do seem like a sensible person. Compared to me, that is. I feel like that's not much of an achievement, but thank you, I guess. You're welcome. Maybe it's not my weekend, but it's gonna be my year. And I'm so sad cause watching all the minutes pass as I go nowhere. And this is my
So, what are we going to do about that Mickey Mouse looking bitch? She needs to pay for setting her little eyes on Ryan, doesn't she? Everyone knows he's supposed to end up with one of you. Me and Candy had some ideas, actually. We work so well together, don't we, sis? We can't go about this like boys would. They usually just beat the shit out of anyone they don't agree with. Which, like, is fine, but we want to be a little more sophisticated than that. When you deal with stuff like this, you need to go for the heart. That's where it hurts the most. So we asked ourselves, who does little Erica really care about? I thought all she cared about was Ryan's dick. Silence. I hope you weren't about to say what I think you were about to say, Miss Clement. Of course not. What I meant was Ryan's dignity. Yes, I'm sure of that. So for today's lesson, we're going to talk about blah, 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 blah. Blah 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 So who does she care about? Drusilla wasn't completely wrong. She does care about Ryan, and we're gonna take care of that as well, but she cares about her brother a lot more. That's it for today. Now go take a shower. Oh, I am exhausted. Eat a sandwich, May. You know I don't do that on Thursdays, Rizla. My manager was very specific about my diet plan. Fuck your manager! You don't need that dick to find gigs anymore. Is there something funny? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Keep going. Nothing funny about that at all. Don't listen to her, May. She's just jealous of your figure. Oh, hey, you. Yeah, you're Erica, right? You know my name? Of course I do. Actually, me and Lori were just talking about you this morning. You were? And what were you saying about me exactly? See, we're very good friends with Ryan. And we noticed you were kind of... How do I put this? You want to screw him. Candy! What? You were gonna take ages to get there. And see, she's not even denying it. We know you fancy him, darling. And we think it's just so cute that you do. Oh, how so? Well, he's Ryan Flint. THE Ryan Flint. And you're... you. And what's that supposed to mean? No reason to get mad. We're just trying to help. See, Ryan isn't usually interested in nerds, so of course you wouldn't normally have a chance with him. And that's where we come in. We think you have the potential of becoming a way better version of yourself. You just need a little push. So, we figured we might give you some lessons. We're gonna teach you how to talk to him, how to dress, and in general, how to be alluring to someone like him. If you want us to. Wait. Let me get this straight. You're gonna help... me? Thank you so much! This is gonna be the best year of my life! <laughs> That's nice to hear. We'll see you soon then. Also, Casey, I want my hair dryer back. And you need to stop stealing from me or I'm going to call the police. <sighs> Her hair dryer. She has no idea of how much I've got on her. I'm a full-on klepto. I've collected about 32 valuable items in the past weeks, and that's nothing. You should see my stash at home. Erica, are you sure it's a good idea to listen to those girls? Oh, right, I completely forgot about that. Cleo's got a point, though. Those girls are snakes through and through. But they were so nice. Girl, they literally called you a nerd to your face. But I am a little bit of a nerd, aren't I? I can't believe that idiot bought it. How dumb can she be? We are gonna have so much fun with her. Hey, I need to go to the bathroom for one sec. We'll come with you then. We always go together. It's not a problem, really. I'll just catch up with you later. If you say so.
So, what do we have here? I'm guessing you're the umpteenth punk rock band that's never gonna make it in the music world. How sad. I'm sorry, what's your name again? Basic white bitches all look the same to me. Oh, you're gonna remember my name, you mohawked freak. Miss Ward said I could use this room to rehearse my singing for the auditions. So you better leave, and you better do it now, before I call her. Let's just go, Travis. This is not worth getting in trouble for. boy. Wait, hang on. Why are you guys leaving? We're supposed to play today, right? The room is occupied by the Wicked Witch. Did you try pouring a bucket of water on her? I think not even a bucket of lava would do the trick. So, what are we supposed to do now? I think I know a place we could go to. I was just hoping we wouldn't have to. <sighs> Peeing around you guys is becoming more and more concerning by the hour. Hi there, big boy. Is Jasper home? Oh, for fuck's sake, don't tell me it's that goth chick again! It is. And Jasper said he didn't want to see you. Maybe he's gonna want to talk to his sister then. No fucking way! Oh, this is gonna be brutal! He's not gonna like it. But sure, come in. I don't give a fuck anymore. Is this... Is this really where he's living now? Why would he do this to himself? Hey, it's my Nana's house you're talking about. I'm sorry, but it's just... It doesn't make any sense. Well, he's staying here for free. Better than nothing, for sure. But Mom and Dad are sending him money every month. What is he spending it on? clean my room until I got high. <laughs> I was gonna get up and find the broom, but then I got high. Uh, my room is still messed up, and I know why. Why, man? Yeah, cause I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. Let me escort you upstairs, ladies. Why do you always have to be like this? It's part of my charm. Is it, though? <clears throat> what? Are you fucking serious, Tia? Why would you bring her here? How do you even know each other? I was worried about you, okay? You haven't been the same since you became friends with these morons. No offense, Derek, or whatever your name is. None taken. And it's Derek. So what? Is this an intervention or something? Call it what you want. It doesn't change the fact that you're a liar and a junkie. Take that back. You fucking take that back. I want to leave. Tia. I want to leave. Now. Erica, wait, I- Don't worry. I'm not gonna tell anything to our parents. Since that's all you care about. So, on second thought, maybe that was a little too personal. I probably should have given you some space. You think? You Ward Academy nerds coming here today. Also, what the fuck do you want? I thought you didn't want to see me again. Yeah, well, it's an emergency. And technically, it's not that I didn't want to see you. It's just that you wanted to see me way too much. You got some balls coming here and pinning all the blame on me like that. And I'm here to ask you a favor too. <laughs> you really got nothing with your audacity, don't you? 
What is it that you want, then? A quickie. As much as I'm tempted to accept that offer, I'm actually here for my band. We're gonna need to use your basement for our rehearsals. Wait, you don't have rehearsal rooms at your fancy art school? Technically, yes. But actually, no, not at all. Ah, uh, fine. You can use it. But take it easy with the decorating. I know that face. Oh, don't worry about it. You won't even notice I was there. We used to leave the blue lights on And there was a beat Ever since you have been between you and Derek exactly? I mean, are you together, or...? There's no way we could ever be together. Sure, I like the sex, and he's definitely not a bad guy, but he doesn't get me. He's a monogamist. Which, of course, is totally fine. You do you, boo, but he wants me to settle down with him. And that's just not me. Then why do you keep seeing him? I hope it's not just for his basement. We could find somewhere else to play. No. No, of course it's not like that. I wish he and I could be friends, actually. I think he really needs one. A friend. Not that he doesn't have any, but... I don't know. I don't trust the people he hangs out with. I'm afraid they might get him in trouble. He's had plenty of trouble in his life already. days with Travis and his friends hanging around here all the time, but just so you know... You are gay. I know. That's not what I was going to say. And what were you going to say? <sighs> just please don't tell Ryan and Gideon about this. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't understand. What? You thought I was going to out you like that? After everything you've done for me. Low blow, man. <sighs> Thank you. No need to thank me. Really, it's just common decency. FYI, I know how it feels to hide a huge side of yourself from people you care about. So, in a way, I do understand. And who knows? Maybe Ryan and Gideon would understand as well. You might be surprised. Erica's been a little weird lately. She's not acting like herself. Yeah, she's acting all mopey, like you. I guess you could say that, yes. She barely talks these days, which makes writing and recording a lot easier, but I kind of miss her rants. I wonder what happened to her. Mind if I join you? This might sound crazy, coming from me, but 
I'd actually rather be alone. I don't know if that's true. I think you and I are pretty similar, in a way. People see us as naive little children who constantly need protection and reassurance. And maybe that's not entirely wrong, per se. But it does get a little tiring, sometimes. I used to isolate myself every time something bad happened to me, because I didn't want to hear other people's opinions about my problems. Which happens to everyone, I guess. But at one point, I realized it was happening a lot more to me. Does this make sense to you? Yeah, it does. So whatever happened to you, just know I'm not going to tell you what you should be doing about it. I'm here to listen, that's all. Nadima really got you all wrong, didn't she? What? what You... you really think so? It's not her fault. She's one of the best people I've ever met, but she is a little prejudiced sometimes. Maybe she's just afraid. What would she be afraid of? Who knows? Probably not you, though. No offense, but you're really not that scary. Oh god, here she comes! Can we talk? Like, in private? Anything you want to say to me, you can say it right here. Don't be a dick and just come with me. He's so whipped. Make it quick, the lesson's about to start. Look, I know I was a little rough the other day, but I wasn't lying when I said I was worried about you. You're wasting away, Jess. You're not even half the boy you used to be. I feel like there's not much of you left anymore. You're just... some stereotyped douchebag now who doesn't care about anyone's feelings but his own. Why do you think I walked away from you, Tia? Or my family? It's because I didn't want the people I love to see me like this. I didn't want to hurt them or disappoint them. So in what way do I not care about other people exactly? I I'm sorry. I didn't think of it that way. But the point still stands. You're ruining your life, Jasper. And this might not mean anything to you, but you're still my best friend. And I don't want to see you waste your talents like this. I can't. What the? These two lovely ladies from the acting major just offered themselves to be our models for the day. Grab your colors and brushes and let's get started. I was scared of dentists and the dark. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations on. Side. I wanna be your left hand 
Why are we here again? Why do we suddenly care about dance auditions? I don't even want to see the musicians auditions. Who cares about some dumb fucking musical? <gasps> you take that back, you heartless woman. Musicals are life. I just thought it might be fun. I never get to hang out with anyone except for you guys. Are you saying we're not enough for you? John starts yelling at me. What if I puke on stage? You guys need to chill. Take a deep breath, get on that stage, and kick everyone's ass. Understood? you done to me. 